Highlights Despite the cute appearance and general compactness of build, Shipwork is moderately independent. Dogs are people-oriented, socialize well. The breed is very athletic, so freestyle, agility, grazing and dog frisbee are its elements. Shipwork have phenomenal hearing and respond to any suspicious noise with barking or displeased grumbling. The breed is not recommended for keeping homebodies, introverts and people with limited mobility. Close emotional interaction with the owner, sports and frequent walks are what the dog cannot fully enjoy life without. As with any shepherd dog, with a shipper you will have to follow a number of rules. It is undesirable to let go of the animal from the leash on the street and allow him to contact larger dogs with pronounced leadership qualities. The spectacular will of a shepherd dog does not need specific expensive care, so you can save a lot on visits to the groomer with a Belgian. Shipwork is developing rapidly in psycho-emotional terms, therefore it is permissible to take a puppy from the nursery at 1.5 to 2 months, the age at which it is recommended to take the babies away from the mother. At the same time, Shipwork perfectly adapt and train even at the age of 8 to 9 months. History of the Shipwork Breed Pointed miniature ears and spectacular puffs of fur around the neck and thighs make it possible to suspect Spitz relatives in the Shipper. At the same time, dog handlers assure that representatives of both families do not have common genes and never have. The closest ancestors of the miniature Flemings are the Belgian Shepherds and Louveners, an extinct breed of small black dogs bred in the province of Brabant in the 15th century. Thanks to their outstanding talent for thinking, Shipperks had already become famous and demanded pets among the Belgians by the 17th century. Keeping dogs capable of repelling rodents, the townspeople were forced by the harsh reality. During the Senna flood, hordes of rats attacked the houses and food supplies of residents. Brussels artisans and sailors especially respected little shepherd dogs, so representatives of this brave family could be met with equal success both in a seedy tavern and on a river barge. Shipwork began to travel to exhibitions in 1882, after which Queen Henrietta Maria became interested in animals. Fascinated by the modest charm of the Blackies, the Belgian ruler acquired a Flemish puppy for herself, which prompted the local nobility to acquire exactly the same pets. But the breed managed to penetrate abroad only five years after the official exhibition. So they learned about the descendants of the Louvener first in England and then in the United States. In 1888, the Belgian Shipwork Breeding Club began its activity and the breed finally received a separate standard for appearance, However, it was still far from the uniformity of the exterior of the shepherd dogs, so at first the breeders differentiated between individuals from Brussels, Antwerp, and Louvain. Shipwork Breed Standard The exterior of the shipwork directly depends on the geography of breeding. In the show rings, preference is often given to offspring from the United States, although formally the American and European branches are recognized as equivalent. The overseas shepherd dogs have a textured appearance and more impressive dimensions, which give them a pleasant imposing, if the latter term is generally used in relation to tiny shipwork. In addition, the Americans have a richer and thicker dog, more massive hips and a head, and a more serious look. European livestock is closer to the historical shipwork type, which means it looks smaller, has a lighter skeleton and a friendlier expression of the face. In addition, representatives of European lines are less susceptible to genetic diseases and suffer from mucopolis acaridosis less often. The reference shipper weighs from 3 to 9 kilograms, with the last figure being relevant for animals from the American lines. The weight of individuals from European countries usually ranges from 4 to 6 kilograms, while there are no strict requirements for the growth of the animal. Head Harmoniously developed, wedge-shaped, but not excessively long, with the cheekbones and brow ridges moderately protruding forward. The shipwork's forehead is wide and rounded. The stop is clearly drawn, but not steep, the cheekbones smoothly flow into the nose. The length of the animal's muzzle is approximately 40% of the length of its head. Teeth, Jaws, Lips Ideally, if the dog's jaws are closed in a classic scissor bite, while individuals with a straight bow are not considered defective. Shipwork's teeth are strong, densely located in the Joro. A complete set of teeth is preferred, although the absence of first and second premolars and third molars is acceptable. The lips of the animal are of a uniform black color and fit tightly to the jaws. Nose. The shipwork should have a small, tidy nose with a charcoal black lobe. Eyes. It is advisable that the dog's eyes are not protruding and deep set. The eyelids should be painted in a deep black tone and have an almond-shaped incision. Shipwork's iris is an expressive dark brown shade, a mischievous and a little impatient look. Ears. Shipwork's miniature movable ears are shaped like neat triangles. The tip of the ear canal is pointed, and the cartilage of the base is kept straight, which makes the appearance of the pet slightly alert. The ears are set high, but at the same time sufficiently distant from each other. Neck. 
slightly curved in the upper part, strong and set high, the neck of the shepherd dog has developed muscles, giving the silhouette additional volume. The lagging thick wool covers the neck with an elegant fluffy collar, so the front of the shipper looks like the representatives of the Spitz group. Housing. The short, stocky body fits perfectly into the shape of a square, while the silhouette of a shepherd dog is completely devoid of bulkiness and massiveness. The back and loin of the animal are straight, slightly raised in the area between the withers and croup. The withers are prominent due to the voluminous muscles and fluffy coat, the croup is rounded and of good width. Lowered to the elbows, a spacious chest and a smooth underline with a moderately tucked belly are also mandatory characteristics of the appearance of a purebred individual. Extremities. Perfectly parallel to each other, with long shoulder blades, strong elbows and short pasterns, this is how the front legs of a regular shipper should look. The hind legs of the shepherd dog are set flat and under the body and also have long thighs and legs, well-marked hocks and short metatarsus. The dog moves in the correct trot with a springy push of the hind legs and a free reach of the forelimbs. Tail. Shipper puppies are born with tails of normal length and with scanty processes or even without them. Moreover, all three varieties are equal in rights. Full tails of dogs have a classic length at the level of the hocks. In motion, this part of the body rises but not above the back line. In addition, the tail should not curl and lie on the loin or croup. Previously, Shipperk's tails were supposed to be docked, but today the procedure is prohibited. Will. The coat of the shepherd dog is straight and dense, consisting of a coarse abundant on and a delicate undercoat. The most pubescent areas of the body are the neck and thighs. In the area of the ears, head, metatarsus, hocks and frontal part of the legs, the hair is short. The body and tail of the animal are covered with well-fitting hair of moderate length. Color. The breed standard accepts only black individuals, and a grayish undercoat is permissible, provided that it is not visible under a thick layer of the dog. Less commonly, you can find shipper can golden, cream, chocolate and black and tan fur coats. Owners of any will, except black, are prohibited from participating in exhibition events, but any nursery has the right to breed them for homekeeping. Disqualifying faults. Like any dog, the shipper may have minor defects in the exterior, as well as serious defects that prevent him from claiming a high show score. There is also the likelihood of large flaws that call into question the breed. In such cases, the pet receives a complete disqualification and is deprived of the right to enter the ring. Usually, such a nuisance occurs with individuals with a malocclusion, semi-erect or hanging ears, soft and overly long hair. Shipper's character. The adorable appearance of the shipperk is a deceptive mask under which a full-fledged shepherd dog is hidden with all its ambitions and complexities of character. By nature, shipperk is a tireless explorer for whom it is vitally important to be in time everywhere and, if possible, also involve others in his intrigues. This tiny Belgian will not lie on sofas waiting for the next meal or sadly roll a ball with his paw but will do everything possible to ruin the life of any domesticated rodent and fight with an unfamiliar shepherd dog for a stick or bone. With children, Shipperk behaves neatly and moderately good-naturedly, but they do not experience true delight in the process of communicating with the younger generation, and they certainly will never subscribe to the role of a nanny and an animator. As befits purebred shepherd dogs, dogs look at strangers with great discontent and suspicion. Well, if they had the audacity to step on the threshold of the house where Shipperk lives, get ready for funny swoops and menacing barking, warning the owner of the onset of enemy forces. With fellow tribesmen, the pet may also have friction, although in general the Belgians are not so jealous and are ready to endure the same four-legged energizer next to them. The only caveat, keeping a pair of same-sex shipper on the same territory, you should come to terms with the inevitability of competition between animals. The rivalry will be expressed in a funny struggle, grunting and biting the enemy for vulnerabilities, although it usually does not come to a real war. Another distinctive feature of the breed is a sense of possessiveness, often turning into uncontrollable greed. Shipper does not agree to share his things, and especially food, with anyone. Sometimes the rule applies to things completely unnecessary for a dog. In particular, a delicacy that was not to your taste, the shepherd dog will still vigilantly guard against the encroachments of a cat or other animals. Walking down the street with rags found in his teeth and not letting go of the find, even while going to the shipper's toilet, is also a common thing. Moreover, the animal tries to carry most of the street finds into the house and safely hide it somewhere behind a sofa or armchair. The rest of the little Flemings are friendly and cheerful dogs, adoring any adventure if a person participates in them. At the same time, the change of owner is difficult and painful for the breed, so it is more expedient to acquire a shipper for responsible people who are not used to giving in to the difficulties that sometimes accompany the training and maintenance of a shepherd. Maintenance and care. 
historically, shippers were not decorative pets, they were not allowed to spend the night in the house, they were fed with what was left, and they also expected useful guard and mouse hunting activities from the shepherd dogs. As a result, today's representatives of the breed do not need specific care and do not shake from the cold at sub-zero temperatures. Moreover, in the summer and in the off-season, the Belgians feel good in the booths and aviaries, although they will not refuse to lie on the rug in the hallway or in the bedroom if they get the chance. With the onset of the first frost, the animal must be moved into the house, but this does not mean that Shipper dreams of living by the battery. At room temperature, shepherd dogs feel quite comfortable, and there is absolutely no need for excess heating near the air conditioner and heating devices. The breed is not afraid of bad weather. The thick, dense coat of the dog has water and dirt repellent qualities, so if the pet manages to get wet while walking, there is no tragedy in this. Let the shepherd dry naturally and do not rush around it with a towel and hairdryer, the shipper will definitely not get sick from the rain shower. But puppies who have just arrived from the kennel and have not had time to undergo the mandatory vaccination, it is better not to leave the house or apartment before receiving vaccinations, if then you do not want to take the war to veterinary clinics. A useful purchase for a tiny fidget is an indoor cage aviary, where it is convenient to plant a pet if the owner plans to leave. Due to their natural curiosity and restlessness, shipwork babies are quite destructive creatures whose ardor must be restrained. Of course, sitting in a cage should not last for hours so that the shepherd does not perceive it as a punishment and does not feel quite hatred towards the enclosure. Walking and physical activity. On a day, the average shipwork is able to win more than 10 kilometers and all this without the slightest damage to his own health. Get ready to walk your pet at least twice a day, approaching the process of organizing promenades with imagination. For example, ride a bike with a shipper leash on the side, not to be confused with bickering, where the dog pulls the bike behind him. Or practice on wastelands and dog frisbee sports. It is permissible to drive a shipper on a leash on city streets. The Flemings are fond of extraneous phenomena easily, but they run fast, so the shepherd dog released will have to be caught for a long time. In fenced areas, the pet can be released from the leash, but only if you are completely sure that there are no holes in the fence into which the four-legged creature can seep. Hygiene. Shipper are clean dogs that require minimal grooming. Representatives of this breed do not need any trimming or haircuts or frequent combing. For areas with long hair, you should get a rake comb and a bristle comb. In order for the pet to acquire a neat, well-groomed appearance, it is enough to comb his fur coat just a couple of times a week. Shepherd dogs shed seasonally, but the frequency of the phenomenon directly depends on gender. With males this happens once a year, bitches shed every six months. In addition, the coat of the girls is renewed after each birth. The breed's molt is abundant, but short-term, but after its completion, the shipper practically does not lose hair, which means it does not irritate the owner with hair tufts adhering to furniture upholstery and carpets. You need to bathe your shepherd as needed and with a minimum amount of shampoo so as not to wash off the protective grease from the coat. If the dog does not get dirty and is neat in everyday life, it is better to arrange hygiene procedures for it once a month or even less often. Moreover, this rule does not work with respect to show individuals. The exhibition stars are washed every two weeks. Once a week, the shipperka should clean her ears with a damp cloth or cotton pad dipped in a disinfecting hygienic lotion such as Beef or Ear Cleaner or Dr. Vic. With the same frequency, the shepherd dogs are wiped with the mucous membrane of the eyelids. It is better to do this with a lint-free cloth soaked in chamomile broth, the procedure is considered an excellent prevention of sour eyes. Three times a week, the pet is supposed to clean the mouth and teeth with veterinary paste, which can be applied to a regular children's brush or to a hygienic attachment on the finger, sold in pet stores. At the same time, it is permissible to carry out hygiene procedures less often, as it gets dirty, due to the unpretentiousness of the breed representatives. Feeding. Controversy continues among shipper breeders about the benefits of natural food and industrial feed, so the choice of the type of food for the dog remains a matter of personal preference. It is worth noting that each type of feeding has both disadvantages and advantages, but in general, both of them have a right to exist. For example, high-quality drying is optimally balanced, so you don't have to buy additional vitamin supplements to make your pet feel vigorous and healthy. Natural food is good in that it does not need to be selected for the digestion of a particular dog, as is the case with dry food, but the purchase and thermal preparation of food takes time. In addition, individuals eating natural will have to periodically include purchased mineral complexes in the menu. Shipwork's daily ration should not exceed 5% of body weight. Optimally, if 60% of the dog's daily food volume is animal protein, namely, lean meat, fish fillets, byproducts. Porridge and vegetable additives account for 20% each. 
for puppies under six months of age, porridge is boiled in milk, for grown-up individuals, cereals, rice, buckwheat, oatmeal, are steamed with boiling water. The ship perk meat is cut into small pieces, scalded, but not turned into minced meat, since the nutritional value in finely chopped protein is lost. Vegetables, broccoli, pumpkin, carrots, zucchini, are healthier to give raw, but for better assimilation, it is better to punch them with a blender or plan them on the finest grater. A boiled egg and raw egg yolk are also considered a good feeding, as well as fermented milk products, the fat content of which does not exceed 3-4%. An important nuance is the monotony of the diet. Do not think that Shipwork, as a person, is bored with a standard menu and that his soul craves for gastronomic exoticism. On the contrary, dogs, whose breakfast and dinner are repeated every day, do not have eating disorders and problems with the digestive tract. Shipwork Health and Illness Health problems in the smallest shepherd dogs do not occur so often. Usually, ailments such as hypothyroidism, paddler dislocation, allergies, and Perv's disease are the reason to see a veterinarian. Another unpleasant hereditary disease inherent in the breed is mucopolis acaridosis of the third B type. Pathology is not treated and it makes itself known relatively late in individuals aged from 2 to 4 years. Mucopolis acaridosis is caused by a genetic mutation that passes from broodstock to offspring, therefore it is important to carry out DNA testing of breeding animals before mating. By the way, if you got a puppy with a mistake in the genetic code, this is not a reason to be upset. Individuals diagnosed with the MPS courier are only carriers of the mutation and they themselves do not suffer from mucopolis acaridosis. Of course, it is strictly forbidden to breed shipwork with MPS, but otherwise they have the same right to become pets as healthy shepherd dogs. How to choose a puppy. Puppy price. Average 800 US dollars to 1100 US dollars. Find out if a bitch and a dog, the offspring of which are offered for sale, have been tested for mucopolis acaridosis and other hereditary ailments. As the shipwork breed becomes more and more popular, kennels began to appear, interested only in money and not guaranteeing either the purity of the breed or the health of the wards. Before buying, be sure to read the reviews, examine the puppies and their conditions of detention personally. Ask the seller for the pedigrees of the litter breeders and study them. Pay attention to the general appearance of the puppies, how neat, well-nourished and active they are. Never reserve puppies by photo. Thus, you will not see their breed defects and learn nothing about their behavioral characteristics. If you are offered toddlers with natural length tails, gently feel that part of the body. The tail should be straight, without kinks or bulges. Note the color of the shipper paw pads. Puppies with light colored pads will have a grayish undercoat, while those with dark paws will have black undercoats. Shipper puppies with a brownish sheen of wool cannot be rejected. As they grow older, the brown tone disappears and the animals acquire a coal black color.